Hi guys, so today I'm changing it up and doing a dessert video. This is one of our family's favorite, more so because we can very rarely find cannolis out and about which are alcohol free. So this recipe is the alcohol free version and it has a substitute. It only takes about half hour to put it together, but it does need about a minimum of an hour for the dough to sit. Hope you enjoy. So first up, take your dry ingredients comprising of the plain flour, sugar and salt and mix together in a large bowl. Next, you're going to add your chopped butter, which you should have at room temperature. So you can just rub that through the flour to sort of break it up. Once you've got an even texture sort of running throughout the flour, then you can go ahead and add your wet ingredients. So this is the two egg yolks, which were separated, and of course your cranberry juice and the vinegar. Now this is a substitute for the alcohol that you normally would put in a cannoli recipe. Now continue to mix this through together until it starts to form a soft dough. You'll know it's ready to come out of the bowl once you see that it's all coming off the sides and sort of clumping into one piece. Then lightly flour your surface and knead for the next five to 10 minutes. The amount of time you need to knead will depend on the temperature in your room. A warmer room requires less kneading, or there is a colder room will require a lot more. So 10 minutes is playing it safe just to make sure that you're getting the right texture and you can see it sort of starts to come together and become a lot more stretchy and smoother. Now that it's ready to go, you will basically roll it up into a neat ball, grab some cling wrap and wrap it up nice and tight and leave that on your bench for a minimum of an hour, up to two hours, but definitely try to avoid doing any less than one hour. So now that it's been an hour, you can unwrap and get ready to roll. So you'll be lightly flouring your surface to prevent sticking, please, Bear in mind when I say the word lightly, I really mean lightly. You don't want to add too much flour because the dough will absorb it all and it's going to change the texture of your dough. You want it to be a lot softer and smoother. So this is also the same point where you can put your oil to start heating up. I choose to cook mine on a nine, which is the highest mark on my stovetop. Because I roll them out so thin, I prefer it to just crisp up, very, crisp up sorry, very quickly rather than having it cook at a long, slow rate and then absorbing too much oil. So that's my preference. You're welcome to make one and give it a go. Once you've rolled it out, this is where you're going to go ahead and start cutting out your circles. So you can use the opposite end of a cookie cutter or a scone cutter. Cut out those circles. You don't need to grease your cannoli tubes or if you're using um, wooden tubes depending on what you've got but you will take a little bit of the egg white from the eggs we separated to seal it so you'll put that on one end you'll fold over the side that has no egg white and then press it down with the other side which does have the egg white and that basically works as a glue to hold it down make sure you really pinch that down properly otherwise if not when you pop them in the oil they'll pop open and turn into tacos
So now that they're ready to fry, you can go ahead and start popping them in. I recommend not doing more than three at a time. This will stop it from being overcrowded and potentially sticking to one another, but also if you put too many in at once, you can make a sudden drop in the oil temperature, so then you won't get an even cook through. So three at a time, they only need about two minutes, but also continuously move them around and wiggle them around to stop them from sticking to the bottom and also ensuring that you get a beautiful even gold color throughout all sides. Now remember to also leave them to completely cool before trying to fill and also that you're leaving them on paper towel to absorb all that extra oil. While they're cooling down you can go ahead and make your filling. So our filling is taking the whipped cream along with Nutella and icing sugar and just giving that a mix through. Now I was in a rush today to quickly get these out because I had visitors on their way, but I would recommend putting your filling in the fridge for 30 minutes so that way it can actually set and thicken up slightly more. It makes it a lot easier for piping, but there's nothing wrong with it this way. It still tastes fantastic. It's just a little bit more harder to work with. Hope you guys enjoyed this version of Nutella cannolis. Yes, you can change the filling for anything else if you're not a Nutella addict like our family, but please comment and tag me. Let me know if you've made them and more importantly, like or subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.